Okay, I'm going to show you how to, um, I'm going to explain to you the play yard setup that I'm talking about where half of the, the puppy space is litter box and half of it is play and sleep and food area. Now you can get a big cage like this. You can see it's pretty tall. I mean, it's really good for a climbing puppy. It takes a lot of space. These range anywhere from $50 to $150, depending on the brand. Um, they work really well. They've got a nice mat in the bottom. Uh, for this set up here, it's a play yard. These range about $50 on dog.com. Um, but the beauty of these is if you want a bigger area for your puppy to play, as it starts to graduate from the 50-50, you've got more room. So to me, this works a lot better for um, what I use them for typically. Uh, so what you can see here is we have a puppy training pad, but we don't just put the pad down. If you just put the pad down, the puppies are going to tear it up and swallow pieces of the plastic. Sometimes they'll tear it up even on this little pad holder. The other, this would serve as like a litter box. The other option would be to put a litter box that covers, you know, about half of the play area. You could put pelleted newspapers in here or pine shavings. No other types of litter, really. Um, but then what you do in this setup is you'd put a little puppy crate at this end. Um, you can adjust this a little bit to where the door is open. You know, the puppy just needs a small area to be able to get in there. There's a towel in there. Food dishes. We have the nice uh, wide bottom food dishes so the puppies can't pick them up or tip them. And you can get bigger dishes than this. Um, or you can get some that attach to the sides. So you would put food and water and a sleeping area at this end and litter box at this end. Okay? As you can see, you could do the exact same thing inside this big crate, but this is more expandable for puppy. So then puppy could eat and sleep here and go potty over here. Therefore, it's training puppy not to potty in its bed. So this works great for when you are away a lot or if your puppy isn't potty training well, isn't holding it in the crate very well yet and needs a little more time. This doesn't untrain your puppy. Okay, that's it for today.